in the words of my man E, the chosen one. Let's talk about it. Huh? From the 90 to the 53 breakdown. Any day I get home, man, I listen to the shakedown. They said the real is the fake now. And me beginning to insist it, so you know they gotta hate now. Blah, that's only one or more shots. LRP, Freezy, even Nacho in the box. Linebackers matter at Shakes and J-Rock. End of an era, they shit it on Tom Cough. Steve from D.C., go Shane, Ben Vereen. Charlie Goham, Gates, and Jerry Reese. D-Town Day, the challenge, what he say? You got a real debate, call up on Wednesdays. But stick to the topic, you call up on Tuesdays. You're all in the nod, call up on Monday. Mondays. Please make a slash free agency Thursdays. Only ride our style for free on Friday, huh? What you know about the shakedown? Get your news from the 90 to the 53 breakdown. What you know about the shakedown? Get your news from the 90 to the 53 breakdown. What you know about the shakedown? Get your news from the 90 to the 53 breakdown, huh? Huh? What's going on, fellas? What's going on? What's going on, Big Blue Nation? Sports fans all over the world. Welcome to the Shakedown, the show for the fans by the fans. I'm your host, Shakes, and I got all my boys with me. So I'm going to let them say what's up. What's going on, fellas? Aight. Aight. These going on with the hey, and um, for all of y'all out there in the uh, in the chat, in the live chat, please welcome. Or we'll wipe your feet when you come on in the house. All right, leave that light. And if you ain't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe, and leave a comment at the end of the show. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, yeah, today's show going to be crazy, man. We got a lot of information to give to y'all. A lot of news came out over the weekend, pause, that we're going to talk about. We're going to chop it up about a lot of things here. But I first want to say, man, shout outs to y'all. Shout outs to the crew, first and foremost. And shout outs to y'all listening out there right now. Thank y'all for last week's viewership. It was amazing. I mean, amazing. So y'all keep that up, man. Obviously, y'all telling a friend to tell a friend. Keep doing that, man. We appreciate it. Those subscribers are subscribing. Y'all got one week left to get us to that 600 mark for us to cut these cameras on, all right? One week left. So y'all better do y'all due diligence, goddammit. But uh, let's get to the festivities. I'm gonna fuck around and veto. Yeah, it is, Ghost Dog. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Purple City Gang. I'm speaking for y'all. I thought just Purple City, man. That's a Ghost Dog. Time. Hosting a New York <laughs> Giants show and got so much in store <laughs> for the people. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm gonna talk about y'all. You know, definitely gonna do it. Yeah. All the way from the 90 to the 53 man breakdown. Huh? Uh. <laughs> he gonna host a whole show with giant people up there. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Purple City Giant. And that, you know what? I'm gonna break that later. I'm gonna break that out. <laughs> oh, I gotta I got iron some things out first. But uh, yeah. Let's get into it though. What's the first on the dot, son? Got it. What grade would you give the revamped offensive line? As it stands right now. Yeah, yeah, fellas. And I'm going um, to start off with saying. Yeah. Uh, I grade that. Right now, you know, you could tell that they have done their due diligence. You know what I mean? They got some, some guys that's able to to perform and step in and a bind and things like that. So right now, as opposed to what they've done in the past, you have to give them a passing grade for effort. I have to give them a flat C, just a straight up C. And that's a lot better than what we've been in the past. So right now, 
with my optimistic opticals on right now, I'm a, I'm gonna just have to give it a C right now, man. At least at least you could tell that they're trying to address it. Too bad it had to be after Saquon's departure, but I guess that's what kind of makes it like, eh, whatever. Yeah, you know I man. Like, mm-hmm. like if it was with Saquon, you'd be like, yo, look what mm-hmm. they're doing. But it's like at the same, you like, all right, man. That's all right. That's that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, hey. nice and even kill with the C right there. So you go on to the next brother with that one. All right. Well, before I go on to eat the chosen one from the Bronx, pause. On the screen right now, you got a little visuals of what's going on with this offensive line. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the final uh, take on it, but look at these faces on the screen. Look at these names on the screen. Now, what I like mostly about it is that it's death. Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot of death. I like that. But go ahead, E, the chosen one from the Bronx. First of all, peace to the gods, peace to the herbs, peace to the panel, peace to the family. Y'all know what time it is, man. Like and subscribe to the tribe. As my brother said, wipe your feet before you step in my house. And shout outs to everybody on X, live streaming. Please post this to all your social media outlets. Help this thing grow, as my brother said, so we could get to that 600 and put our faces on camera and do what we do. My grade is an I. Because I don't know. Mm. I will not do it to myself. Offensive lines take time to gel. Camaraderie. You got to get comfortable with knowing who you're going to be in the trenches with. You got to get comfortable with knowing who you ready to fight. Who's beside you. Techniques. All that type of stuff has to happen. And none of these guys have ever played one snap in the NFL together. So I have an eye. I don't know. <laughs> J Rose said, "Eyes ah, for incomplete." Hey, let's facts. <laughs> hey, all right about that, right? Like, I get it, but is it like in the aspect of we've been sorry for so long? Is that why you're just taking this approach of I don't know? You don't want to no, get your I'm hopes taking this. Out of, you know, but go ahead. Nah, it's not hopes, brother. Mm-hmm. It's just truly not knowing. And I fell into the optimistic lifestyle of just looking at names on paper and have been truly disappointed more than enough to just say to myself, okay, wait a minute. Let me take a step back before I start thinking like that. And watch some stuff first. So I've become more of an optics guy than an on paper person. Okay. I'm so I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you you've grown a lot, E, over the years, man. That's crazy. Y'all remember what I used to do? I used to say I'm a, I was a wait and see person. But everybody was always gun ho, like, yeah, no, we that's A oh, that's no, oh, that's A plus. And I'm like, how do y'all know? How do you know unless they play? Unless we see it. Then wind up getting D's for doodle. Exactly. <laughs> then your face on on the ground and shit. Pick your face up. How many times we didn't have crow sodas with a sandwich on this show? Soda on the side. I want to eat real food. <laughs> Can't do it. All right, welcome Black Freezy to the show. What's going on, Black Freezy? You. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace of the gods, peace of the earth. What's going on with the family, them? Peace of the family. What's going on, Paul? My tardiness. Uh, I think I was 10 minutes or exactly, too. I think I was on time with that, at least. But um, what's going on here? The offensive line, man? What's going on, man? You grade the offensive lines? According to my time, and you on time, bro. You know my I time. I appreciate that. <laughs> Love is always on time, brother. <laughs> you know my time. 
you know my time. Right, but, <laughs> yes, appreciate sir. you. All right, for coming through, pause. But uh, yeah, we're talking about this offensive line to be grading it, man. What's your grade on it since you since you hit? Ah, uh, my grade is Carmen Brasillo. Um, I'm hoping that he don't play musical chairs. I hope he don't like that game because uh, we need five to gel. We need five guys to be able to be out there in tandem. So that's going to take reps. And before, you know, we can get there, we got to figure out who's who, you know, who's best at what. So that's that's a process. So I can't really give a grade right now because you got to see some things. You got to see exactly, you know, what they really want to do. And that's going to hopefully also come out of after the draft. They're going to select the child, hopefully. Um, because we looked and we saw what that guard market did, man. It was it was crazy out there. Um, and so you got to secure some of these kids, man. You know, you just can't keep plucking, you know, old veterans, but you need a good mixture. And I think we got a good mixture of, of children and veterans. Um, so I'm looking forward to it being serviceable, but I can't give it a grade right now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Seems we all have grown. <laughs> Except for the rookie, huh? <laughs> but I, right. I had to up it a little bit just because um, Bobby Johnson not in the building. Because that's an F right there. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby Johnson ain't in the building. You're already Thanks. a D. You're already a D. Pause without Bobby Johnson in the building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not really D. Pause. Oh. Go ahead, LRP. What's your grade, bro? I'm going to go AF. AF for first the A for absence and then the F for football. So AF, absence of playing football. Uh, also AF for after the fact. Another AF for mad as fuck because now you want to sit there and do all this shit when the person that you was supposedly doing it for. Finish the rest. You know what I'm saying? AF. Fuck out of here. Hey, LRP. You could also stand for absolute failure. There you go. Hey, we can do, we can keep going. We keep going. You know what I'm saying? You remember that worksheet that they used to give you during the holidays? You see how many words you can make with Thanksgiving? Mm -mm, I like that shit. I was just your school. Never heard that one. Yeah, that yeah. was just your school, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got that. I got that. You ain't never got that. You ain't never got that. You ain't never get that. They had. They even had turd ducking on that joint. <laughs> yeah, you made a whole bunch of work. <laughs> Not turd ducking. Yeah, they had <laughs> turd ducking on there, B. It was my smarty art at school, but hey, if they haven't played football yet, um. I can be happy individually about the players individually, but as a collective, I need to see it. So I've grown to coming of age. It's time to come up. No longer can Giants keep on pacifying people with this bullshit. You ain't even offer the man a goddamn contract. Fuck out of here. Okay. You lied to me. J Rock. Mm. Oh, like, like I always say, man, I got to see it first, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm not gonna give it a grade either. I'm gonna wait and see. Uh, I'm gonna wait and see how this offensive line coach coaches, <laughs> and we gonna see it in the preseason. Yo, y'all not playing fair, man. I need a letter grade, man. Come on, man. Y'all got oh, me out here. Right. I gave you a whole letter. Yeah, incomplete. Incomplete, incomplete right now. It's an right, incomplete. Right. I gave you two. I gave you a whole letter. I, 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 whole I gave letter. two letters. You gave me an A and an F, like you know. Well, All for fans, me, you know for me, C plus. I, I'm giving it a okay. I like that. B minus. Man, I'm, I'm gonna give serious? it a B. Yeah. Is y'all are y'all serious? I'm gonna give it a B. Are y'all serious? <clears throat> but wait, I I need to hear why though. Yeah, I'm about Whoa. to say. Hopefully, we explaining these letter grades. Yeah, cause oh, I Eden already did that, so I will listen in. Mm -hmm. Rock. I, I definitely need to hear as to why you would give him what you gave C plus. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, 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 I'm giving it a C plus because I'm, I'm in the mindset that this new offensive line coach knows what he's doing. Mm. So if he can coach up, if he can coach up Evan Neal, um, they said he coached up Jermaine Luminor. So if he's taking his spot or if Evan Neal's fighting for that spot, let's see. I'm, I, I want to say Evan Neal's better than him. He was, he was, he was a top five draft pick, a top ten draft pick. So let's see if this dude can do it, and we see it in preseason, like. Evan Neal has changed. Come on, C plus. But if the, if it's the same old bullshit, that shit will quickly go to an F. <clears throat> let's so base C it on plus and wait and see with an asterisk. Like, yeah, you know, I want asterisk, right. It's kind of with, with the asterisk. It's always an asterisk on something, man. Everything don't just come plain Jane, you know. But yeah, all right, that's respectable. Now, Shakes, I, I know this is show, but I can't just let these guys say what they're going to say and just moonwalk off the stage. Um, LRP, let me let me let me get a real grade. Let me get a real grade, brother. I, I thought I did pretty good moonwalking, and it was damn near <laughs> spot on. You know what I'm saying? Like robotic, <laughs> like I had the even electro. You know what I'm saying? When the motherfucker was moving all slow and pop locking. I was doing my thing as I was getting off stage. AF, I'm pissed off at these people after the fact, bro. It means you did all this shit after the fact. After the fact. <clears throat> all right, so after the fact. So that's behind us. So moving forward, what you see as a in regards to the pieces that we brought in, in regards to the players and the coaches and the fact that Bobby Johnson's not here. I need a real letter grade from you, brother. You just gonna give it the F? I I give them I give them a B for trying. They they're trying. I give them a B. I give them a B for trying. No. They're putting in mad effort. They got a new coach. They picked up some free agents and they're gonna pick up some people in the draft. But it's mad infuriating that they did shit after the fact. I, I appreciate that, and I can't even argue with you, man. See, I, I can respect those grades. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Because everything is yet to be seen, but at least we've seen the effort to put the pieces in the building that hopefully are able to perform. You know what I mean? And not be the same stuff that we've been seeing in the past all right man I, i'm i'm freezy you gave a real letter grade of texas oh the i man incomplete oh yeah you gave it the i and then and then and then um either chosen from the bronx you gave it a real letter grade yeah i gave it a real letter grade an i yeah. you gave it an i so we got I gave it a straight i and i'm, and I'm explaining in 30 seconds why i gave it an i first off attrition has been atrocious for us Mm -hmm. So I need these dudes to actually show up healthy during the season. Mm. Oh, now we silent. Ooh. <laughs> hey, shit. Oh, now we <laughs> But um, for me, I'm going. Man, this may be a surprise, but I'm going B. Mm. Like, I'm going B. Man, he don't even fuck with us. He Purple City game. Yeah, that's a fact. I like it. Yeah, that's a fact. I, like, <laughs> I like it. Cut it out. <laughs> it's a lot of death over there, just like I spoke on in the beginning of it. And B is for Baltimore. Thing, and that's one thing that I felt shit in this past decade, damn near two now, that they like was just death at their offensive line. Somebody goes down, it's a rat. It's over. Now, you know what I mean? I think somebody goes down, you can be like, oh, all right. All right, well, he can fill it in until that, that guy can come in. Pause. So, I like it. I like it. Finally, but just like LRP said, mm -hmm. after the fact, though. It's crazy. <clears throat> I respect it. And that's from the outside looking in. And plus. Pause. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pause all the way. And plus, like I feel like 
they have all the starters. Now, where are you going to place these starters? I do not. I do not know. But I feel like y'all have the starters. Me personally, I don't even think they're done yet. You're going to still have to address it in the draft. Mm -hmm. That's why I give it incomplete. Fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> because I need something in the draft. That interior line. That's the I need, main thing yeah. for me. That interior lineman. I've been screaming it for years. Address the interior lineman. They finally did that. Yep. B is for Baltimore. Mm -hmm. I, I need two kids out of the draft to fight um, Izudu and McKeithen. Make them boys fight for their positions because they've been here, getting hurt, here, getting hurt. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so. All right, Shakes. What's next on the agenda, King? Let's go to the next topic. The next topic is will quarterback Daniel Jones be ready for week one? Now, here's the thing about this one, right? Because he was shown at a concert. And I don't know if we got this video. Do we have the do we got the video there? No. No. We got the video? No. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> You didn't get that one. So since we ain't got the video, right? I'm going to explain this. I'm going to explain it where y'all going to see it all in y'all head. Pause, right? So here's the thing. He jumps on to the stage. Danielle Jones, right? He jumps oh, on to the stage with no limp, no nothing, and just flawlessly, no hands. Pause. Just no hands. Just jumps onto the stage. Voila, Spider-Man. I'm good, baby. You know what I'm saying? So... With that visual, y'all feel like this man ready? Hold on, real quick, Shakes. In order for me to completely paint the picture in my head, pause in the graphic. When you say jump on stage, like mm -hmm. Spider Man, did he bend his knees and like you know what I'm saying <laughs> and hold his he arms out? He did that. No. You know, how you, you know how you leap up on stage, like you know how you about to uh, hop a gate when when you running from the police. Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. You yeah, safe landing type shit. Yeah, he, that's what he did. You see what I'm saying? He did so safe landing type man. shit. We call so that you hop saw this thing. man he vertically hot, hot yeah. on the stage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, you do know that sometimes those stages got a little gift. Hey, you look, know what I'm saying? But the fact that he did that, right, then planted his feet, right, with no problems, walked over to the to the uh, people that was doing the concert and all that. No problems at all, bro. He's good. What? I'm sorry. I'm going to need more. I'm going to need more. I wish we had the video. That's why I asked for it. Right. But, right. you know, I'm going to get So you saw that and he said he's ready to go. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get to the video. You hear that, J-Rock? Is he ready to go? I'm going to get to the video. I know y'all seen it out there in the, in the, in the comment section. Y'all seen that video? No, it's, I, it's going viral. I'm gonna have to go, go find the video now. I'm gonna find the video. Going gonna play it. Oh my god! Go ahead. E. I, I'm gonna I, go after you. <laughs> <laughs> this man ain't jump on nothing, boys. <laughs> jump on the stage, bro. <laughs> Yo. Yo, when you see the video, <laughs> yeah. Spider Man, bro. Yo, he go into the street. Yo, if somebody ever over exaggerated something in life, that was it. <laughs> he said he jumped on the stage, Spider Man. No, no, and, no, yo, no, please, see the video. No, he no, is straight walking slow by you know over to the band, and he starts to sing in the little microphone that they got on the stage or whatever. I just, I'm gonna be quiet. So yes, I can. I can. I can. He good. I can. He ready to play. Oh my god. He ready to play tomorrow. Oh my god. Is he ready to play tomorrow, y'all? See, <clears throat> shit like that is why we don't got Russ in the building right now. 
First of all, Russ ain't want to be in this building. No, but the the thing the thing that they were saying from Russ camp is that they still told Russ that Daniel Jones is the starter. And but told Drew Locke he gonna be competing. See? See what I'm saying? Scam. See what I'm saying? So hold on, same. Let's talk about that for 30 seconds. So Russell Wilson, a potential Hall of Famer, right? Mm-hmm. No doubt. Mm-hmm. Was told, listen, then you're gonna be starting time to come back. But <laughs> but yep. Drew Lock. And you gonna be able to compete for the starting job. Just come on and choose us. <laughs> that's that's how that, that's how that went. Yo, these are the rumors. Nah, these 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 are the things that I'm reading, man. And that's why I don't watch Sling TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, these are the things that I'm hearing, man. Thank He's too daggone well. Even if he did jump on stage, Spider Man. Oh. Even if he did, even if I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and and, and entertain this for a second, even if he did do that, he did that, LP. <laughs> he did that. All right, even if he did do that, so you walk to the trash can with a box, Amazon box, empty, no problems, right? No problems. He a cyborg. But you take out two bags of trash after a cookout, all of a sudden your hip hurt. It's a difference. It's a difference, bro. Jumping on stage at a concert in your jeans. Bro, come on, bro. It's completely different from running for your life on the football field. You can't do that when you just broke your leg, bro. (laughs) <laughs> you said you can't do that. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't do it with you. I can't I do it with you. Go Texas. I'm out. You tripping? Yo, what? Hold on, man. <laughs> he said, "Yo, what?" I can't, I can't even find the video. I was trying to find. It. I can't even find it. <laughs> you gotta it's go to da- like Daniel Jones dangerous. things on stage or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what you got to go to. Like, Daniel Jones sings with Ben or something. You know what I want Mistaken right him jumping off a step right. as jumping on stage. I'm, no, wait till, wait till y'all see it. Like, I need to he's see what jump. Right you crazy. No, he's this, not. This, no, nah, I, I, yeah, I, I see one. This, this was, no, that, that, the video months. came out a minute ago. Cause he oh. just told somebody yo nah, chill a couple days ago. Yeah, that's that's old. That's that's shit from like eight months ago. Yeah, he just told he just told somebody yo chill a couple days yeah. ago. Yeah, no, nah. no. Nah. Boy, ready to go? Oh, nah, man. nah, nah, nah. Come on, man. You gave me a scare right there. Nah, he ain't doing all that right now. That's old shit. I see what you're talking about, but that old. That's just say eight months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Feel me? <laughs> Yo, oh. so, the internet scandalous place. Before you let me get her, I got her, but then the person took a hundred dollars. Nah, that's that. Yeah, that video was from that video too. was from June the twenty third of last year. I'm, yeah, twenty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. twenty fifth yeah. of last year. Yeah, Almost man. a year old, bro. <laughs> What's yeah, going on with you? I ain't, yo, I ain't fucking with you, Shakes. What's good with you, man? <laughs> man, man that's what I'm trying to tell you, For man. Real, man. Got my heart rate all up and shit, man. I don't even like what? This man jumping on stages. Nah, come he's on, man. New Adrian Peterson. Nah. Nah, nah, man. So the internet posted up an old ass concert from the first time he was singing country, and then tried to make that seem like that was yesterday. Like he was, yeah, <laughs> like he was right. Yeah. Sure yeah. So when when did he get hurt again? Uh, Whenever we played Las Vegas, was it October? October, November. It was in November, right? I think it was in November. We played. We played the Raiders. Yeah, he should be ready. Mm. He should be ready. They brought him about six to nine months. Mm. About six mm. to nine mm. months. He should be ready. He should be That's ready, bro. With the broken yeah. leg. Now let's see how to set out by week one or preseason. By week one. You should be ready, bro. You ain't ready right now. I mean, 
Yeah, Luke right. Casey. He ain't never I ready. I mean, I he's, he's never ready. ready. You know, right now, right yeah, now, he's probably hell. getting his script together right now. But um, you know, he'll be he'll be he'll be, he'll be there. He'll be there, not unless he has a setback or something happens to him. He'll be there. From my perspective, J Rock, J Rock, he ready right now? Who said Ronnie Barnes? That's what that's what um that's what Joe Shane said. He said he'd be ready for training. <laughs> well, you got that report from Ronnie? Oh, he said he yeah, said training. Uh, Ronnie is definitely oh, ready. No, just Ronnie. He's ready right now. He's ready yesterday. So he said he's gonna be ready to practice, coach. Yeah, Jones is out there thrown. He'll be ready for training camp. Wow. Training. Forget week one training camp. Yeah. So again, is he ready right now? Y'all good? Is he good? Nah, man. Come on. <laughs> he, he ain't got it right now. He out there with an ace band aid bandage. Hey. And that's some rubber because bands. you worried about the two next pause. That's 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 bad. That's can't bad worry about the two next, bro. They ain't worrying about the two next, so let him die. Yo, bro. If he dies, he dies. They ain't banking on that. They're not bank. They're not banking their their, their, their future on that, bro. I don't believe them. Man. They, I, yeah. I I I appreciate we, all the smoke. Hey, I'm, I'm talking like this because it's a reason why. I mean, we're gonna talk about it later. But mm -hmm. yeah, uh huh. Go ahead, let them die. If mm -hmm. they feel like you're ready, then yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. let them die. Yeah. Get them live bullets. Yeah, let them die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. LRP, you agree? Let them die. Black Freezy? Let hold, them die. Wait, hold, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. You just gave this offensive line a B. Hey, you talking about he gonna die? How he gonna die if you got a, a B offensive line that you don't rank? All right. Mm, can you explain that? So, so all right. <laughs> Commander? So, y'all been watching this guy play for uh, five years. Six, carry the one. Yo, that's this gonna be the sixth, seventh season, right? <laughs> right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. Y'all know how this man plays, son. Protection or not, bro. Y'all gonna tell me he ain't gonna die. He learned how to take himself out of harm's way a long what time ago. But, so, but but being in harm's way is totally different, bro. So I don't know about that. I mean, I'm just talking football. I haven't seen him, you know, put himself in harm's way. Let's have a conversation, bro. When has he protected himself? He, 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 he did one time. He, he when? took that hit at the goal line and they blew his ass up. <laughs> what? Wait, and what, what game? Listen when he got that neck, when he got that neck injury, I forgot oh, what game. Against the Cowboys, Cowboys, bro. Yeah, Cowboys? but guess what? They ran him hitters. into that. He takes on hitters, bro. Nah, he 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 sized that dude up and thought that he could win and lost. <laughs> oh, oh, and because he didn't recognize his man was right yeah. there with him. Yeah, yeah you I saw that shit. Sit <laughs> That, that dude sat right. there and stared at him he for five, ten yards coming at his ass. I'm saying he did go pause. He did go through that defensive tackle in Atlanta. I forgot what was his name, but he wasn't a nobody DT either. A couple years back, ran that That's dude over right point. in the end zone. That's only my point. Making my point, Sam. This man plays recklessly, bro. He's going That's... to die. But when when has he hurt himself? Is what I'm asking. Not not not. Being oh, when hit, you play, when you play like, when has he hurt himself? And you got two next, bro. Oh no, no, no! I found it. I found it. No, there is a new one. There is a new one. I found it. Uh oh, nah, man. On the stage like Spider Man, right? Nah, man. Cut it out. Man. He ain't hot. He was already on the stage. She was. That's what on. I'm talking about. Can we get to the on stage already? <laughs> I try to say that. So you added in the jump. That's a fact. He slow bopped over to the microphone. Pause. Can we can we play yeah, play the video, please, get please? Please, please get, get to it. Look at that man. That. Oh hell no! He, 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 he had a Coca Cola. You walk on stage. Did you see the box? That's fandom right there, boy. That's for that. You ain't. That's fandom right there. Yeah, that's the second time on stage with Zach Bond. Yeah. 
Zach Bond, yeah. He said, I don't feel no pain. That's crazy. Daniel, Daniel is high risk, bro. Look at him right here. He's high risk, bro. And yeah, he, he put that up. He's he out of control, risk. bro. Yeah, look at all them red dots. He plays high <laughs> risk. I'm trying to tell you he's going to die. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Dates on the, yeah, they see them dates. Just high risk, man. That's it. And he got an injury clause in this situation. So they're they going to be trying to play Still business with him on the top of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, none of those movements on that stage was football movement, Shakes. One more, one more time, Freezy, please, so we could just go ahead and live past this day. No, nah, we, we really don't have to play that again. Really no, just, but, but, but LRP, he didn't said the man and hopped on the stage, Spider Man. He ready to play football. Look at the walk. Just look at the walk, LRP, for me and you. Okay, so. I tell you, man. <laughs> you put the very high risk. Yo, right man, I, I, I can't. I he can't. ready to go right now. Right now, right now. He high risk, bro. Yo, bro. <laughs> Come on. That's a high risk quarterback right there. That is very high. Yo, all on the left side. Of That's why he got the injury. Right That's why he got the, the injury clause, bro. He got the injury clause because he's very high risk, bro. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. And, uh, I, I, I would say that they're going to put them out there because they put themselves in this bed and they got a lie in it. So it is what it is, but I don't Ooh. think, Ooh, man, I I think it like should be done. This is going to be our quarterback next year, so let's move on. <laughs> That's your quarterback. He ready. Yeah, let's move on. She's pathetic, bro. That man, <sighs> very daunting, yeah. yeah. He trucked Grady Jarrett. Thank you, Don J. <laughs> yeah, he definitely felt that afterwards, Don J. You got to be honest with yourself. Uh, he had to ice up, son, after that's that. That's the way he plays, bro. He lives like fast. Mm -hmm. BMF, baby. Ice up. Uh, going down, down, yeah. <laughs> he lives fast. He lives fast. And die young. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so then, um, that. what's that? What's, what's going on here? The tight ends. Well, Giants brought in a couple more. Uh, more tight ends. Free agents. More tight ends. He's a blocker. Blockers. He is a. Uh, his name is Chris Manhurts. Played for the Broncos last season. 6'6, 235. That, that last name, crazy. <laughs> man hurts. First of all, first of all, he went to Canisius. First of all, he went to Canisius. Ain't nothing going on over there. No. That's a football name, though. Man hurts. Yeah. I mean, I'm man here hurts. to I'm here to hurt something. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, no. Really? Yeah, you can't say it the other way, same. It don't, yeah, it don't have the same effect. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm glad that you cut. Not you with, cut not short. With the diddle out here. Not with the diddle yeah, out here. Yeah, not with the diddle out here. You cut short, so I, I knew that your yeah. your brain was going like, yeah, I ain't gonna finish that. But yeah, I knew nah, what you I was trying to get at. <laughs> he can't. He can't never say that. That's. I'm just saying that's a football name. I like a nice <laughs> ugly name like that. Nice <laughs> ugly name. Put somebody in the dirt. Pause. Mm. Where? Where? Oh, see. Let's get, let's where the get. hell is Kinesis? Kinesis. Yeah, where is that? <laughs> <laughs> Your guess is good as mine. Oh man, yo! I, know, I just can't think of it. Right <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, definitely New some, York. Some block. It's in Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah, New York. right. Oh, okay, okay. Man, they got like twenty-eight thousand goddamn on colleges, bro. I'm like, motherfuckers just create a college in a week. Yeah, right. you can do one too online. Right, for Same real. Time. So. I wasn't expected to know that what Kinesis was. Yeah, we didn't know if Kinesis was online, son. For real. <laughs> no, oh, no, we, 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 know, <laughs> we know what it is. <laughs> we know what it is. And we know why he was I'm scouting. Done, man. Okay. You got County out here. Right, <laughs> we 
got these blockers out here, man. Y'all, mm -hmm. y'all know these guys. Look at the mullet. Nah, now nah, that mullet is crazy, boy. That is that is that's a twenty-four mullet is crazy. That is out of control. That's but that's, that's that tells shit. me football, yo. That that's tells me football. football. Yeah, shit. Nebraska. Yeah. I see it. I see it. Boy, he came from Nebraska. Football shit. Um, I, I like the fact that we do have the two two uh you know what you call them uh e bay bay hailers. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like uh, hate bay of hate throwers. Yeah, these guys because. We need some of this blocking, man, because um, right. we don't have that extreme dynamic running back as everybody is going to continue to, you know, way over. So let's say Quan live his life, man. Let him live his life over there. Call, call his pops, Paul. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, these two, these two guys Thank over here are going to help us out. They're going to help us out for real, for real. And I can't uh, wait to see how they employ them. Got a whole bunch of blockers and nobody to block for. All right, anyway. No, well, um, I want to say real quick on Stall. He did some things while Goddard was out. You know what I mean? I, I will say that. He did some things for that offense when Goddard was out, made some catches or some plays, whatever. Made himself available and open. Pause. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but Ooh, that's no, the whole career think... stats, right? Yeah. yeah, that's it, man. You, you see how many games he played? 50 games, 20 receptions. So yeah, they've been blocking a lot. Receiver, yeah. They've been blocking a lot. Yeah, they've been blocking know. a whole lot. Same thing with uh, Man Hurts. How many healthy scratches? Receptions. Yeah, blocking a lot. Blockers. No, no healthy scratches, man. They just don't use him as a receiver. Mm He's -hmm. some big uh, boys. And, too, they, and, and he was, and how many years did he play for Philly? Good girl. Who? Um, <laughs> Yeah, how many years did he stay? Was he in Philly? Two years. So therefore, we got to look at this. We got to look at the people years. who was in front of him, right? Zach Ertz, exactly. Goder, like he was in back. Come on, yeah, he ain't gonna get no love over there no. like that. Yeah, but he's not really a pass catcher though. These two. Dudes yeah, we are we know, that's man. what I'm saying. Right, he's going to be the primary. He's going to be what he's what he is. We, yeah, yeah, I get it. Mm. Wish we wouldn't have gotten, but I get it. That hey, type man. of shit, right? Yeah. Remember, Rockers, remember what Rockers Eli up. did for Marcellus Bennett career? Remember what Eli <laughs> did for Marcellus Bennett career, man? <laughs> Got him from behind Jason Witt and brought him ahead, and that man then went, went somewhere else, made a bag. And won a ring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so mm -hmm. this next topic here is uh we're, we're going to the roster here and first up is the offensive side right so this is the offensive roster so far sorry Ash. but yeah we got quarterback danielle jones we got drew bum ass lock we got tommy cutlass devito man how y'all feel about that quarterback room right now right uh, what, what's going on with that how y'all feel Shit, I have some more bread at the table, please. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely lackluster. Definitely lackluster. Yeah. I do the baby. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna call it ass because ass is a good thing. Pause. You know what I mean? We men, we love ass. Pause. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying this is not a good look. I'm just saying it's not a good look. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I ain't gonna disrespect Alex like that. Yeah, dumpster. Oh, what's going on, baby? I ain't oh, see that dude going in the building. <laughs> oh, the juice. It's just straight dumpster juice. All right, well, let's look at the running back room right now. We got Devin Singletary. Said, I'm going to wear number 26. I don't care what y'all feel about it. We got Gary Brightwell. Mm -hmm. we got Eric Gray. And we got Jay Sean Corbin. How you feel about that room right now? That shit hurts. Can we have some more bread at the table, please? Thank you. That shit hurts. It hurt, bro. That's so, a goddamn shame. Mean? All four of them combined ain't Saquon Barkley. That's the shit that yeah. bothers me. Benedict. All, all, all four of them combined, they all need reps. Stop putting in these guys in there for one or two plays a game and give them some damn reps. Everybody mm -hmm. on that list need reps. But that's the Saquon factor, though. Yeah. That's a fact. That's what I'm saying. So we we gonna be all right, man. So we gonna be all right. These boys need rats. That ain't it, and this ain't that. Right, if we so. if we gonna try to replace Saquon forever, we are gonna be doing that for the rest of our fandom. So yep. let that shit go, 
and understand that these yeah. kids right here need reps. Saquon I, is gone. Take your though, jersey, hang it up. Even though it looks pedestrian as hell. I ain't right? doing that. Here's the thing. Hold on. Yeah, yeah I ain't doing that. You're going to tell quick. me what to do. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't doing something. that. Hold on. That shakes. Because it looks pedestrian, <laughs> right? But let me ask y'all. Who really does step up and take the number one spot? Because I think everybody thinks it's going to be Singletary. I don't know about that. It's by committee, man. They're not doing that. They're not, they're not running that type of offense no more, man. Where they, where they depend, everything's depend on the one running back. They're not doing that. Okay. Okay, Shakes. So, so, so let me ask you a question according to your statement. Let's remove Devin Singletary. Mm -hmm. And today was September 11th, 2024, the first game versus the Cowboys. Who's your starting running back out of the other three? And listen, even if you got Devin Singletary, in he the- just went away from the whole oh, situation. Oh no, no, I did not. Just listen to okay. me and hold on. Okay. Close your mouth, open your ears. Wait a minute, all right? Just even Shoot with it. Singletary there, right? <laughs> I still feel like every Gray is going to take that number one spot. Mm. Mm. This is why he went to Baltimore. No more no, special no. teams, baby. Yo, it's it's. The I don't d- want to see Arabia on no more. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What what makes you think, based off of what you've seen thus far, that he's going to take that spot? I feel like he impressed them last year when in the limited reps that he had gotten, and I feel like with a year, you know, learning whatever the fuck they they trying to do out there, because. Even though they are comfortable and familiar with Singletary, I feel like they they bring in Singletary to be that veteran, that that mentorship guy. But I feel like Eric Gray is going to take that step, that next step. Mm. But he said, "What did you see? Because we didn't. I didn't see anything from Eric Gray." Yeah, I know you was just telling me about his feelings. I I couldn't realize because he didn't really see much. He wasn't really see much. So he had to tell me how he felt about it. Yeah, I, I feel oh, like okay. they like what they seen in his limited yeah. rights. But yeah, what right I what I like is his jiggle, his wiggle, the moves. You know what yeah, I'm saying? you got that. You got that. You okay. got pause. pause all the way. You got good vision. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think for sure we'll know if they don't draft a running back high, which would be third, fourth round, third, real, that really high. Um, mm-hmm. um, or if they don't draft one at all, then we'll know how how much they feel about the child. Um, I mm. think he's going to get the opportunity to do everything he needs to do. Um, I know he was frustrated with last season. Uh, he also got a little nicked up too there. Um, fumbling the ball on special teams is only opportunity. Um, so without Saquon, everybody, this clean slate, everybody in the room gets a look, man. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to the next room. Well, I'm back to shaking and change, girl. It is, bro. It is. Pedestrian as fuck. All right. But um, we're going to the wide receiver room right now. And we got Darius Slayton. I'm still here. We got Jalen Hyatt. <laughs> give me a chance, boss. Give me the ball. <laughs> yeah, man, give me a chance, <laughs> ball. <laughs> I'm open, coach. <laughs> give me a chance, baby. And we got Bryce for Wheaton out here, man. I just want to play a game. So... What's going on, man? With that that wide receiver room right there, yeah, I ain't going to include the slots right now. We're going we're going to wait next pause. But wide receiver, how y'all feeling about that right now? When did Bryce Ford we didn't get hurt? Preseason, preseason, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he definitely gonna be ready. Wow, we, I need to see some things from that kid, man. Before we pencil him in as one of these receivers that's going to be in the game, um, McKenzie. Um, from what I'm hearing, mm-hmm. this he's here mm-hmm. for special teams purposes, mm-hmm. along with Gunner. All right, so we got mm-hmm. two here for special teams. Isaiah McKenzie possibly can be thrown into the mix as far as on the field running um, downs and shit. Let me see. Yeah, so we got Slayton. No matter how people feel about Slayton, his six seven hundred has been consistent. No matter who's throwing the ball, 
Um, then we got then we got the 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 untapped potential in Jalen Hyatt. You know what I mean? So right now we got we looking light, man. We need that one piece, man. We need that one dominant. If they if they not getting it, that brings us back to the draft. If they're not going to go up and get Daniels or stay put and get Penix, they're going to have to get one of these wide receivers, man. You need you need a dominant wide receiver in the game. Mm-hmm. Not saying mm-hmm. not saying that Jalen Hyatt, like we know we haven't seen he hasn't met his ceiling and gotten to his ceiling yet. So, like I said, he's untapped potential right there, pretty much. But we need something coming out the draft that's like dominant. You know what I mean? To give Daniel a fighting chance that that's going to be our quarterback. Uh-huh. Me, preferably Odunze, Odunze, because he's that possession receiver, like that 50 50. If it's one on one, he open. If, 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 if he's one on one, he's open. And, and that's what Daniel need one of those kind of guys, too. Uh, what you feeling, E? What you feeling about this wide receiver room right there? I like to do stuff in a way where people understand exactly what it is that they need to understand. So I'm going to say this, and I want to hear an answer from you guys. Right now. Right now? September 11, 2024. Daniel Jones, that offensive line, those wide receivers. I'm going to go the same and then go up, I'm gonna walk up the block. Same. Who are you afraid of? <laughs> Hyatt. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid. You afraid? You, you, you afraid? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to yeah. the word afraid. I am. I am. As a defensive coordinator. Yeah. Yes, I am. When those three hit the field, you like, Hyatt. yo. Hyatt. That boy over there is fast. Wanda and 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 hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. That's it. No hell no. You said because I, I got to worry about over the top with Hyatt, but Wandell will chew your ass up. Pause mm-hmm. underneath, man. Mm-hmm. All underneath in the middle, cross patterns. So that Eagles. that's so so as a defensive coordinator for the Eagles or the Cowboys, that you afraid of that? That's what you you, you penciling that in? Because I, I I'm saying I know Hyatt, Hyatt Hyatt has the ability to to occupy two defenders. Safety over the top at all times. Okay, safety over the top. I got man underneath. Wandell is running wild. I don't care if it's one on one. I'm open. If I got one, you know, step on you know you, what I'm you might have forgot, same. What? That two six is no longer in the backfield. The fear factors, and I'm saying it right now to everybody on this phone. The fear factors in the NFC East is no longer there. They can bracket, put four put four up going up the field, five, and you got eight back. Four. I'm I'm sorry, you got. Seven back. Well, that's good. Then I'm gonna hand it to Wandell. Wandell, something different. I don't want anybody to forget. Wandell is a weapon, bro. Just like they was wow. Saquon okay. was. Yo, all right. They don't. They don't. Okay. I'm not, I'm not I will say. Even, I, I'm not I will say this real quick. I will say this real quick. Same. I don't think that they believe us in weapons. They don't, that's they don't, a fact, they don't believe in weapons. That that's offense, a whole fact, bro. That whole organization, they don't believe in weapons. That's not what they do with weapons, man. How do you know a that's dude is a weapon? What, because he can rock, he can t- yeah. destroy a game. I know what you're saying, Sam. I'm on the same understanding that yeah. this kid is multi-dynamic. I get but, uh, what you're saying. I get what you're uh, saying. And he's dynamic, right? Uh, he can do more than one thing if he's used properly. But we've been talking about this proper use shit for 10 years too we didn't even use the biggest weapon we had in saquon barkley properly they don't know how to do running backs with running backs 
But Wandell, they did some things, kept them in motion, handed off, things of that nature. Like, okay, they was doing what they supposed to do with Wandell. And I'm telling you, Wandell, okay. that dude, man. I He's got you. Dude. I think, okay. You, you, I think scheme you, around that. you can scheme around Wandell. You can scheme around Jalen Hyatt to stop what they do. But if you have a, a true number one, it makes mm -hmm. them even more effective. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, Not think, mm -hmm. That's my thunder. Yeah. Because I, I think that everything else, all the pieces around it, is great. But you don't have the number one. And once you get that number one, mm -hmm. then it, it complements. And, and, guess what, and guess what that number one does? He takes the attention off of them so you can do the things that you think about with them. Same. You can send that boy up the field because he's going to command attention. You can send that boy across the middle, send him on wheel routes, nine routes, hitch routes, go routes. You can send him on these things because guess what? There's somebody you have to pay attention to. Why do you think Devontae Smith is so good? He's already good. But why is he so good? Because you got the look at number 11. That's a fact. But y'all see how that comes full circle because that's what I said before I said anything else. I said it a doomsday. Yeah, but, but I'm that. talking about those three. I made sure I mm -hmm. preferenced my question for September 11th. 2024 <laughs> with those three on the field i said that i said mm -hmm. those three you afraid of that hyatt or doomsday and why see you keep on it? adding additions you see what i'm saying <laughs> what you mean you keep on adding additions no. I'm, I'm he, like, he, he answered <laughs> higher straight up he answered higher straight up you said yeah i said hi yeah hell yeah okay and, and he threw okay. in wandell but and he threw in wandell for okay. the for so, the slot and, and since you and since you, wide receivers. Right. And since you put on the sparkly hey. jacket real quick lrp i would well, love your answer go ahead LRP. i would love your I answer said, i would agree i would agree with sam i would put hyatt as a dangerous receiver in that room he is, and um, his speed is dangerous. I mean, the dude runs like a gazelle because of his gait, pause, you know what I'm saying? But the long legs, and he just, he just effort, effortlessly runs away from people. And I saw that very consistently last year. So they can sleep on him. They might not, they might not say they're scared of him because they don't know. And rightfully so, because nobody could get him the ball, but you get a, a dude down there that can stretch the field and throw the football, that dude is dangerous. So I, I will put Hyatt on there. And Bryce Ford Wheaton, I will put as potentially dangerous, but I ain't going there because he ain't played the snap yet. So. Okay. Um, uh, J-Rock, I know, I know you were getting into the addition of having that alpha number one, which elevates two, three, and four. But are you afraid? No, and and that was my explanation. I'm like Jalen Hyatt, Darius Slate, and, and Wandell by themselves. No, ain't nobody scared of that. Man. No defensive coordinator is gonna be like, oh man, how we <laughs> how we scheme up against that shit? No, Yo, the mean. pencil ain't going in the back of his ear for nothing. <laughs> That's good. I don't want I don't want you to I, I don't want you to fear me anyway. I want you to respect me, man. And that's what they they gonna learn. They gonna learn them, them two boys right there. People gonna learn, man. Don't fear me. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 beat the respect to, out your ass. They have to get that number one guy, and they need that quarterback, man. And that's the two main components that it's like, all right, well, if you don't get those two, it means nothing. But um, they got no freezy. choice. They got no choice. And now, before you go, Freezy, they ain't got that statement just, I mean, it didn't piss me off, like, in real life, but it irritated me a little bit because they got no choice but to get a quarterback and a wide receiver because they didn't did everything else to – say that they don't need anything that they had so they got no fucking choice you're no choice lp is not happy man he is upset right. hey, listen listen yeah listen man um you know y'all gotta listen to what same trying to tell y'all man wandell he that dude we first of all it. we didn't think he was going we he we i know i know i understand your trepidation Eve, but just let me give me a second uh he we didn't think he was gonna make it right they didn't think he was going to make it to the beginning of the season. He made it. The boy came out there, started getting better week after week, the more they gave to him. Now, when it comes to Hyatt, so we, that's the slot right there. So when it comes to Hyatt, we got an outside wide receiver. Is he a number one? No, because we don't know yet. 
because Hyatt still wasn't even really playing man off 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 of the off of the off of the uh the line. He was running around, disguising, doing things the same thing he was doing in Tennessee. He has yet to beat or or show he can beat man press coverage. He's yet to show us. Now this whole team is going to be different. So you saying like, oh, oh, you fear that? Nobody even going to know what the fuck we going to do. This whole team is going to look different. We got the same players, but I'm talking about schematically. There's no more depending on one player. You have to use your roster. So we might we, we you know we might get a caveat, you know what I'm saying, on this one. You know what I mean? You know, hit the hit the uh, ground running because we can finally use our team. Facts, Ghost Dog. He said Dave and Shane turn this into an air raid offense with a running back by committee to complement it. Facts. Sound about right. Because if you look at when Tyrod came in there, what was happening? Sounds about absolute correct. Hell yeah. I but see now, the circulation down the field. But the but the but the play's been put out there. So the question is this is the playbook gonna change? Because we've we can all attest to that playbook being damn near the same and calling plays on our couches for the last two years. We just happened to execute them year one, but year two, that shit ain't beating nobody. Everybody knew what was going on. That shit looked bad year two. So we just you know, automatically. I, I gotta be honest with you, man. When I, when I look back at it, I don't think it's the play. I think it's the rhythmic of the play calling, as we can see. Going back to the schematics of last season and, and what was going on behind the scenes on the coaching, I just think was they was interruption and some fluxion going there. There was yeah, interruption and fluxion. The though, coach bro, took the actual calling. Let me just get it out real quick. The coach took the calling from the actual offensive coordinator. I mean, you gotta let them shit? get in the rhythm too. You gotta let them get in the rhythm too. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, so let me so let me ask you a question. Mike Cow is calling plays now. According to them, he he been calling plays until he wasn't. You didn't add that sound bite, did you? No, nah, I, I came late, family. I came late. I ain't okay, sure. okay. No, nah, I was saying, I was just asking because we could have added that right there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I came late. All right. Well, let's move on to the next yeah, room. Man. Remember, I just put the move on to this room. tight end room. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we got a whole bunch of names here. Fuck mm -hmm. it. We got Darren Waller, man, almost retired. <laughs> but I think I'll come back with one yeah. more. One so he one so he out. said he back. He's back. N he's no, back. he hasn't given a decision. I haven't seen no decision. Oh my god, man! You know, got the foul out there. We got Tyree oh Jackson. We got two blockers out there, and they just bought back Lawrence Cage. Oh, no, no, my bad, my bad. Yeah, they right here at the bottom. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about what well, he was talking about. My bad. No, yeah, so we gonna we we gonna be able to use that sound, them sound bites. Watch. Yeah, oh, oh, I, oh, I got you. Uh, these tight ends, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Y'all already know how I feel about Waller, man. Let me get that up off you, man. I'm a, I'm gonna take the little seven seven point something dead cap hit, but let me get that damn near seven up off you, man. You should like you 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 not fully invested. I need somebody fully invested into this shit. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So I'm getting that money. Wall is gone. Bellinger, before you got your eye damn near ripped out your head, you looked like a number one tight end. I, whatever you did in the off season last season, don't do that shit. Do the shit you did your rookie season coming in. Because whatever you was doing with all the workout shit, that shit did not work out. And your benefit, bro. You know Stop what I'm that. Don't do that. Trust me. You you were about. I wonder. I wonder did that rake to his eye do something to him because he wasn't seeing those pass rushes run right by him, looking like he was just giving him poor effort out there. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm expecting him to turn his game back up. As far as the other guys, they're just blockers and camp bodies. Uh, Kajer could come in and do what Waller does. You know what I mean? The other guys, man, hurt, stroll. Those are, I think. Did, what kind of deal does stroll get? Because, <laughs> because you think about the numbers, you be like, hold on, he might, he might be here, like be here for real, for real. 
You know what I mean? So yeah, that's good. Everybody, everybody but Waller, man. Everybody but Waller competed out. Can't, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna say um, nobody's scared of the tight end room. Um, upgrades are needed. Uh, excuse me. Uh, wait, can we have some more bread, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you at the Olive Garden one. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what I've been that's what I've been saying. Whenever when somebody asks me some shit and you oh, take bread, the opportunity please. to change, hey, can I get some more bread, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. Mm. God, I don't want to be at this dinner. Mm. I think it's the probably the best room y'all have. Well, yeah. Yeah, like skill position. Mm-mm. Cause, cause you still. I love that you said y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He just got to be joking and trolling at this point. You know what I mean? He just he just trolling at this point, and y'all gonna let him just do it. It's his show. He can troll. I'm serious. Like, I I'm think good. the tight ends are definitely like the most complete room. Okay. So break that down. Break break everybody's skills down like in 30 seconds. Cause I feel like every other room is like you, it, they're missing something. In the tight end room, I feel like you got everything. I feel like you got blockers, you got a you got the receivers, you got the receiver threats, you got dudes that can uh be a receiver threat but could be a blocker as well. So I, I think y'all have the tight end room really complete, but everything else is just like question mark, question mark, question mark. First of all, the number one tight end on the roster is a question mark. But see, that's it. To me, he's a like, what do they call it? Like, just a extra. Like, if he comes back, great. But if he doesn't, y'all still have enough bodies to, to be good. I mean, y'all just bought in two motherfucking blockers, bro. Shakes, he changes the complexion of that tight end room, whether we want to talk about his rap skills or his injury history. Whatever it may be, he changes the. You got a plan for him, brother. You got a game plan for him. It don't matter. My bad for cutting you off. I think you're way better with him, but like even if you don't have him, I feel like Bell Cager can fulfill the the void. Oh man, yo, I do not discriminate with injuries. I don't care who you are. You out here getting injured. We don't need you. Peace. Be the journey. I'm good. Everybody messed up the mess up shit. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, brother. The messed up thing about the wall of shit is you know, it's like taking the joke out the deck. You know what I'm saying? Like you wanna play without the joker? Yeah, yeah, we play without the joker. Like, damn. So I don't, I don't got that extra, you know, that extra thing that takes me over the top. You know what I'm saying? Pause. And really it was him out the slot, him out wide, him doing everything, you know, wide receiver wise. Thank you. So <clears throat> it becomes a situation where it fucks us up really badly. So now that room becomes a serviceable room. Now you get Bellinger, he can, you know, go into the role we thought he was going to do. And and really that's not Walla. That's not, you know, a step up or a notch up. But it's serviceable. Right? Mm-hmm. You get the two blockers in there, it's serviceable. Mm-hmm. I think we go into this this I think we go into some regular football, man. We just we're mm-hmm. not going to have nothing, you know. <laughs> fantastic or you know outstanding outside of who we draft and i'll answer now for you um shakes mm-hmm. d-e-d dead you don't like the tight end room that's uh, i don't I know I need to Never work. Mind. I need to work. <sighs> one dude regressed one dude confessed and three <laughs> dudes are a mess <laughs> I don't know Boss. I don't know none of them mm. so, uh, We didn't even know Star was on the Eagles before we got mm. I didn't even know he went to Canisius mm. <laughs> It's on live <laughs> Yeah, like, like, why, why are we, why are we doing this tonight? Why, are we, why are we doing this tonight? Huh? Why are we doing this tonight? That tight end. 
It's crazy. You gotta face it. He said we gotta face it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it, man. yeah, definitely. Um, so we we just done with the roster. You don't want to see the offensive line and all that. You good? <laughs> we saw the offensive line. <laughs> remember? Wow. Talked about the offense. You want to go on the defense? We can go to defense. All right. You got no problem there. That's a fact. A a a. Nice. Yeah, you know what I mean. Everybody, y'all. Everybody in the house. Healthy yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah. appetizer. Yeah. I got all the bread. Then you know, yeah. everybody yeah. got all yeah. the bread. Yeah. 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 Ready to go now. You, you, yeah. you got yeah. the yeah. Get another round, please. Get another round. The biscuits. You got the aspects. The biscuits. Yeah, you taking shot? Who taking shots? I got shots. That's the fact. Get another round. Get another round over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We 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 that's that's a whole different situation, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here, right? See, a little, little different over there. A little different. That, you know what I'm saying? Little, 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 that's little a nothing. That ain't breakfast right there. That's brunch. Little different. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. So we gonna Listen. go to the defensive line here, mm-hmm. right? And I'm gonna include the edge. So we got the edge being Kayvon. Boogie Basham, twelve sacks. Brian Burns and Aziz out there, and then inside pause. You got Nacho, you got Riley, you got Big Dex, my son. You got DJ Davidson. You got Timmy Horn. Who the hell is Timmy Horn? It don't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's like a mug though, right? It don't even matter. He over there smiling like a motherfucker looking like yeah. He happy to be here, man. Happy to be here. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. I get to eat. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, Timmy right. Hall look like Luke Devandro's nephew. See, y'all, y'all like that defensive line, no man? Ain't nothing wrong with that yeah. defensive line, huh? Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong well, with that. I, I, I don't see, see nothing, wrong. nothing wrong. Nothing yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah I like decent. that, too. I ain't gonna lie. That's like, decent. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's, that's decent. pretty. Somebody right. gonna get hurt. All mm-hmm. right. So let's go to my favorite position. Pause. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go to these linebackers. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I was yeah. crazy when it came back. <laughs> I was like, yo, favorite position. Oh, shit. I'm like, Hold on. Uh, you gotta put that on the infinite, son. You gotta control yeah. it now. Yeah. Then you did a little. Then you did a little joyful noise after that. <laughs> you did a whoopsie. He's like, yeah. You got to come on now. Oh, you got a little carried away there, buddy. <laughs> you got to do five. You got Whitley. Uh-huh. We got Bobby O. You got Darren Beavers out here. He said, I'm healthy now. And you got my son, Carter Coffin. Hard working. <laughs> Hard working my other son, Carter Coffin. <clears throat> How y'all feeling about these linebackers, man? I think we can add one. Yeah, I need one more piece, Paul. Yeah. One more. Yeah. One more on the inside. I think we can add and one, I, man. And I want him competing against Coughlin and Whitley. I mean, yeah, Beavers, what's up, what's up with Bitten Whitley situation? Right. I don't, I don't Why know he looking like, thin like that? Like the season, season, right? Yeah, yeah what, what is, what's up with him, though? Yeah, I don't know his life. What, what's up with his life? Can somebody bring his life up so we could at least have some type of... Yeah, I'm, I'm here, boss. Let me, get but, hey, let me ask y'all a question, though. Right? If you, if you yeah. re-sign Isaiah Simmons for a one-year deal, man, does that complete this linebacker joint? Because I'm Bentley I'm Whitten. Him. Hmm? I'm yes. Him. Damn right. Everybody say yeah? Everybody say yeah? Everybody? I say yes. Because you a hater, J-Rock. You, you feel like Isaiah Simmons can fill this, this boy right here? Have they signed him? I'm just saying if they did, you think that would be... They'd be like, all right, we we go with linebackers. Nah, they don't like him, bro. That's why they. That's why. That's crazy. That's crazy. Break that yeah. down, Rock. Bro, he don't, he don't. Break right. that down, Rock. 
Me and Black was talking about this. Like, we don't know what he is. Is he a safety? Is he a linebacker? Is he a linebacker? Yeah, yeah, tweener. That's the problem. He a tweener. Don't know what he is, and, and we don't know what type of. And of, really, yeah, how are they going to use him in Shane Bowen's defense? They don't know. That's why he's still out there. And, and really, to be honest with you, they, they be best trying to rush him. You know, as a, as a tweener off the line. Yeah, man, that's, that's as a pass rusher. At. But unfortunately for him, man, he just was never able to get feeding. Uh, you know, footing anywhere in one position, and he's kind of like a tweener. And you kind of expendable at that point in time, mm. like a jack of all trades. No, but he, you say that, but who whose place he going to take? Who's he going to be behind? I'm going to keep it a thawa. Carter Coughlin can have another pitcher next to him over there, just like the rest of them got pitches next to them. Benton Whitley is not better than Isaiah Simmons. Carter they Coughlin they is Carter not Coughlin better back before him. So they must see something in Carter Coughlin. Well, he's a special teamer. Yeah, J-Rock, yes. Teamer. I was about to say he's a special yeah. team. That's why he got demon. signed first yeah. and all that. You see the special yeah. teams get signed yeah, first. He's a special he's team a special demon. demon. I just think that they letting Simmons test the market, see what you can get out there. You don't get shit. Come on, I'm home. Yeah, I man. haven't heard nothing. Just think they pick and choose. That's what I think. Oh, they pick world. and fucking choose. I haven't heard not one Thank word you, about no Simmons out there. You, you trying back. to tell me this man with oh, all that raw talent, pause, can't get coached up by the new offensive coach. I'm I'm sorry, the new defensive lineman, the de new de sorry defensive coordinator, and and have some type of situation going on. All that right there. If it was like that, he'd be signed. And that's crazy, man. I think he's coming back. Yeah, I do too. I'm a, I'm a roll with you on that, Montana. I think he will be back here, or somebody gonna pay him on the low, and we gonna find out he get a contract. I think they gonna I think they gonna draft a linebacker. All right, we gonna see. We gonna see. Yeah, I, I, we gonna see. Yeah, my boy. That, that, Logan, that's, man. A good, that's a good, you my know, front seven. Crazy. Um, good defense out there. Uh, they definitely some attackers. They're attackers. So. Mm -hmm. And which I don't understand. And I, I agree with you, uh, J Rock. If they, you know, they should have paid him already or signed him already. I agree with E. His name should definitely be right next to Carter Coughlin and do fast as hell, regardless. So I don't see their, their special teams argument because yeah, he could beat Carter Coughlin down there before he even get there. So whatever. They pick and choose. Okay. So, real quick. On this screen, right? This is where I looked on the roster and I said, you know what? This is what J Rock was talking about. I'm shaky. <laughs> this is what he was talking about. <laughs> now so you get let's, to see let's, it. Let's, let's take a dive a look into this, right? So, of course, we got Deontay Banks on one side, and we all can agree that that's his side. He's locking that down. But then that, right? You're like, hold on. Because you look on the other side and you got Nick McLeod, and we all love McLeod. <laughs> but I'm saying as a starter though, we 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 don't we don't like him that damn much. All right. Not even his father, J Rod, likes him that damn much. All right. Exactly. So I said that. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> um and then Trey ball, I, I can't ball out Hawkins, right? Oh no, he changed I mean, his name now. Yeah, yeah now yeah, he can't yeah, ball yeah. out now. Yeah, I can't, he can't I ball now. I can't ball out. <laughs> I can't ball oh. out. Hawkins, right? You know Stop I mean? that. Like, he's still Don't do that. To learn, right? And then you got the, the the slot corners. Now we like Flat, and we love him to win this job. But where's your competition on? Because you got my son Aaron Robinson. That oh my god. Uh, Lanes and all types of shit. I don't like, know what, what the, type of injury this boy had. What the hell did he get, man? I don't, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Yo, didn't, didn't he have intestinal issues? Yeah, I mean, bro. He must have had an infection or something, bro. I don't know what's going on. He must have had gangrene, all of it. I don't know yeah, what the yeah. hell happened with this boy. Staff yeah, infection. Yeah, Ronnie Barnes, man. Yeah, that oh, Ronnie that's Barnes. That's a fact. Oh. The cornerback room ain't looking too sweet, dog. It's a like, pair. <laughs> no, nah, but yeah, yeah. Brian we definitely Burns. need to add a corner and we need to add another safety. Right. Let's nah, talk about Brian that. Burns. We got That's Brian a fact. Burns. We do got Brian Burns right there, right there next to my son, looking shaky in the face, too. Yo, uh I I agree wholeheartedly with what, what Freezy just said. A corner and a safety. 
we'd be looking a lot better, man. Yeah, now we need the no, it's it's not it, it, on this one. It's not just because we got Brian Burns. If you look at it, there's only really one veteran there. Mills. Yeah, the rest of these guys are young guys, one, two, three year guys. That's a super fat. Yeah, damn. Right. Right. All of them, bro. Well, they believe, <laughs> they believe in their coaching. Right. That's on them. Yeah. They believe in their coaching. Yeah. He might be, yo, he might be a camp body, man. Who? Jalen? Trey Hawkins. Oh. Oh. I mean, you better get it together, bro. You better get it together. But, um, yeah, he man. That, that don't look good. I don't look good at all. Now the safety room, I'm like, all right, that's fine. Maybe you drive one and you you good. But that corner room really needs some work, bro. Like, yeah, yo, all it need uh, is a starting number two on the other side. And I don't even know what Aaron Robinson is doing here. Okay. <laughs> I don't even he know what he's doing right there. You look like he did it. He did it. Right. I see him do it. He uh, did it, boy. Uh, it looked like him and Javarius Owens is looking at each other in a lineup. <laughs> now Javarius looked like he knows something we don't know. He uh, looking yeah. at he looking at Aaron Robinson and Aaron Robinson looking at him like you better not say a motherfucker. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. So no. we yeah, need... but the crazy part about this, real quick, real quick, is that mm -hmm. we fuck around get a Dory back. See, oh, yeah. get him back. I you want that? Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, but I, I mean, what's back? the option? What's the option? I'm just asking, family. Yeah, that is before we get crazy. Oh, hold on, I, you know what? The, the laptop got to come out because that's that's how we know the option. Yeah, Trey Davis still out there? Trey Davis. Trey Davis. Yeah, Rocky Asin. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. He he actually took a he took a tour. I think he went to Seattle and Vegas. So you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe we la maybe we last on a on a on a totem. But other than that, that yeah, I forgot about him too, by the way. But yeah, the medical's clear. Is so Rocky good, out there? He was out there up. last I checked. He's still there. I'd rather give a I'd rather get a kid in the second. Is Kyle like Fuller out there? The second. No, nah, he's gone. Nah, he he gone. Kyle Fuller gone. Mm -hmm. That's right, Ghost Dog. But don't, don't, I mean, let him, let him, let him sleep. Let him sleep, Ghost Dog. Sleep on who? All right. No, no, we ain't talking about it. All right, so, um, that's, that's the roster then, man. Now we, didn't, we, we punting comments? Okay. Is he holding secrets? No, no, yeah. Y'all see. But, um, yeah, man. Next coming. Chill. <laughs> Owens the next coming. To Brock. Yeah, with, with, right. yeah, with right. the laughing emoji. You talking about chill? Like, right. you know, you know. he laughing at you, boy. Then with the word chill, spell with one L. Right, let him keep sleeping, ghost. All right, but um, yeah, that's the roster, man. And the only thing I feel like needs help is really is that cornerback room. That that just it's just crazy. That's crazy. Mm. But yeah. That's the roster, man. It's the current roster as we speak of today. I hope y'all like that. Kirk, I might like that shit. Yo, Bunton still out there? Who? Sean, Sean Murphy Bunton. Three names. Yeah, I got Sean. Uh, what? Damn. Right. So now next on the docks in here, we got what does Justin Fields trade mean for the 2024? for NFL draft. The boy goes to Pittsburgh. Mm, mm, mm. I still don't understand. Up on what the so fair, huh? They just racking them up. Man, man. Bro. For, they nothing. for nothing. They they traded for him, right? And now right. they're giving a multi-year contract to Russell Wilson. So what are you going to do with Justin Fields? What? That sounds bad. Yeah, That's bro. Like yo, yo, J Rock. Let's let's. I'm so happy you brought that up. First of all, shout outs to you, bro. Because I didn't think that was gonna happen, and you said, "Yo, they gonna trade that boy." And I was like, "I don't think that's gonna happen." Because I keep hearing rumors how they want to keep him, but ain't no way in anybody's name are we gonna all lie and think that this man was going to Pittsburgh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, I, I wouldn't. No, that's the right place for him to go, though. 
It is, but nobody, nobody even thought twice about that. But I thought he was gonna go somewhere to be the star, and not the word. What? That. Come on, man. Can we just please talk about this? I, I well, still that's don't great. They doing it to him the right way, man. Letting him learn, sit back a little bit, some young fella. How long we need what? Oh. For three Russ. years, Russ. Who? Hey, I don't know what so Russ they doing. trying to give. Know. They, 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 they talking I about giving it. Russ. They talking about giving Russ three years, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, but okay. even if how much he got? Year, how much he got on. left? Okay. Real quick, even if it's a three okay. year, y'all know it's gonna be really a two year shit. You know what I'm saying? And then let's say I right, boom. Yeah, you know I mean he sits this year. And then he takes over next year, and they got Russell Wilson as the, you know, what I mean, the, the mentor. But you can't player. forget this though; they still have to give him his fifth year contract, his fifth year option. Yeah, yeah that's man. What I'm say. When did it well, run out? Like, pay him? Mm. That's yo, that's crazy, man. Mm. It sense, bro. It's, it's a good that's problem. That's crazy. To have. It's a good problem to it have. It is. It because is. They told you don't Russ, know what, how gonna, Russ is going to turn out. Yeah. They talking about that multi-year deal with Russ after the season. They ain't saying, oh, we about to rip up this 1.5 right now. Uh, they said after the season. Yo, first of all, they don't got to even worry about paying them. Yeah, facts. They don't got to worry about paying them for two years. Facts. facts. So, so check it out, fellas. Say if Russell Wilson plays mediocre toker, right? Mm -hmm. He's still going to be the one of the hottest commodities next year in free agency because he's going to be so cheap to put on a roster. That's true. So the Steelers can just get rid of him and say, okay. Yo, and it won't mean nothing. That's true. It won't mean nothing. That is true, too. Nah, he just did that for Aboriginal and came to the Giants to shove it in their face type shit. Shout out to the Steelers, man. Yeah. They, they get on my nerves, bro. Shout out to Mike Tomlin. Shout out to Mike Tomlin yep. and the coach over there. We the know Steelers. what that's about. He did the same thing with Young Simba. Exactly what that's about. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. He did the same thing with Young Simba. Oh, y'all want to act like this boy ain't got what it takes? Mm -hmm. Watch when he come over here and start Watch the development. Him. And God mm -hmm. rest his soul, man, from that situation. Cause he was yeah, definitely going to look into that, man. I'm gonna look into yeah. that because there was something. He, that, he man, definitely he was, was going to get a chance. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. That's All a right, very simple. Uh, we also got now, a P. No, I'm sorry. Got traded to his other son's team, the Cardinals. So now, both your sons are battling for the number one spot. Yo, one of his sons is a straight starter and the other one is the backup. Yeah, basically. Whichever order. I mean, he good. <laughs> Whichever order. We all know Desmond Ritter is not going brand to get new. on the field over $235 million. He's a baby. <laughs> That boy ain't doing nothing but sitting there watching. Hold the clipboard, son. He had a lot. Play the preseason. He had a lot. But what right. they did was um, they made sure that they had a quarterback because um, you never know how many games this boy going to really play. So if he does go down, they got another quarterback that can step up. Even though he ain't, he ain't that good neither. Both your bum-ass quarterbacks. But I digress. <laughs> Damn. No, 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 no. <laughs> Damn. So that's it, man. You want to talk about your son, uh, LRP, man? You want to talk about your kid? Before we move on. Where's bum ass? Yeah, exactly. He's not here. LRP not here. Oh, he, he, oh, he, he left. left. He left because he knew his child was his child was coming up. <laughs> so to go. Gotta go. They ain't gonna embarrass uh, me. My kids ain't gonna embarrass me out in these streets. I right, bet. So um, that was it for the adoption. Oh, 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 oh okay. That's the last one. Here. Oh, oh. All right. So spoiler alert. Yeah, you know I mean, we gonna. My fan ain't no damn spoiler. So no, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I, I, I'm thinking about motherfucking uh BMF, right? But no, this is Power Book Ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
There you go. Final season? That's what? crazy. Now, if y'all don't know, let me explain what's going on, right? So, first off, uh, the kid, Michael Rainey, who plays uh, Tariq, he didn't even know that it was going on. He found out with everybody else, right? That's mm. funny. Um, Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 50 said, man, you got to answer your phone, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that's on you. <laughs> I, I know, I know that no problems, bro. Trust Let's take me. you getting fired on your job and everybody knows yeah. except for you. Hey, oh, like, yo, what, what happened? Like, you bro, in there working right gotta right. answer your phone, bro. All right, but um, yeah, listen. So this is what they doing. So stars had put out a statement that said, when it gets to or get past season three or four, the money's goes up production wise money's goes up for the actors money's but money's go up okay mm-hmm. so they saying they got a plan for this so what say. they're going to do no no is no cut this short <laughs> but in court cutting it short here right they're going to rely on spin-offs mm-hmm. okay so they're going to rely on spin-offs to spin off that one to another one to spin mm-hmm. off on that one to another one so they can try to cut that short of having to pay all that money mm-hmm. now i say all of that to say that one spinoff has already been announced not sure if y'all already heard about it but i'm gonna break it to y'all if y'all didn't the new spinoff that they are bringing out is power book origins that means they're going all the way back to the beginning and showing Ghost and Tommy story. Mm. Now, let's go back to this final season. This final season will be a two-part final season. So mm. they will start in June, and then they will go away and then come back in October. That will be the final episodes. And there is a lot of fan theories thinking that... Ghosts will be returning. Mm. So, with all these nuggets that I just dropped on y'all, man, how do y'all feel about these this news here? I think it's gonna be dope because I think they're gonna have Kanan in it too. Because he's only a couple of years older than them. How many years was he older than Ghost? Like yeah, three, four, could, like three or four? The, the, Kanan the showed them the way. Yeah, and they met and they met and they met in why. So they have to show how he got put on by Canaan. So that's going to be dope. Yeah. That is going to be dope. And yes, he will be in a series as as well as they said. He will be in the series playing Canaan. Same guy that's playing Canaan right now and raising Canaan. So. This nigga think he out here calling plays. (laughs) This is what they doing with the power book universe, man. What you feeling, J Rock? Hey, man. I mean, it's, it's disappointing, man, because it, it took so long for them to come back in the first place. But mm-hmm. it is what it is, man. Everything got come to an end, man. Just like snowfall. Right. Must Damn, Franklin. But it just branches off, though, and that's what it is. And then, you know what was so crazy? That you brought up Snowfall? Because Snowfall was supposed to branch off in the spinoffs, too. And I don't mm. know what happened, what happened to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure what the fuck? But, um... Yeah, Money, like, production. Yeah, pretty much something. Because once that, that, that um writer strike happened, it was a lot of shit that just went crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a lot they of felt they wasn't getting their bread. A lot of these programs just went away. Just fizzled yeah. out. Yeah. I'm happy we ain't got to see Tyreek no more or the kid that play him. Oh, no. They definitely... Um, I am definitely think he's going to be in a... You know what? And this is, this is not even a fan theory, but this is a shakes theory about it. I think that they're going to have two more spinoffs with that. One of them is going to be um, the one with Tasha. I think they're going to make a Tasha one and that will be the one that Michael Rainey will probably be in. 
And then I also think that they are, if they're going to bring back Ghost in this final season, I think they're going to do a Ghost series, like just explaining like what happened to him and what he has been doing in these years that he's been faking his death. So, I don't know. We're going to see, though. It gets interesting. It definitely gets interesting. But uh, stars, man, they shaking it up, man. They got the guts to do that because, to me, I, if I'm in that position, I don't know if I have the guts to do that move. Like, that's that's a series that brought people to my network. Like, without that series, nobody even knows what stars is. Nah, Seriously. I'm a movie dude, so I know what it is. I knew. I knew too, like, but if you ask I'm the greedy. common person on the street and you say before power and you say yo you you watch stars they'd be like what what, what stars what are you talking about mm -hmm. you, but you know why stars was what it is right shakes is because it's a premium channel mm -hmm. and it's a movie channel so most people don't want to pay for it <laughs> that's a fact hell yeah i got it that's that's shit cool. nine dollars extra people down. yeah you got it yo you got to pay extra for stars hey, that's it nine dollars extra nigga. people cannot go without stars now you like man i have to have stars you know, fucking power because of you power so that to, to have that guts to say okay let's cancel that i i couldn't have made that that move but hey man the fire stick pause got all that you know what they're doing <laughs> mm -hmm. hey, cinema know. hd all right you know now it's a fire stick bro because overseas, they cracking down on people, man. Y'all be careful with them uh, jailbroken fire sticks, man. First of all, let me say this real quick, J-Rock. You're absolutely right. But when you got a black freezy, you ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> my boy, the first of all, you better, you better have your VPNs <laughs> live. Get your VPNs you know live, man. Uh, my boy, put me on years live. ago That's with the VPNs, baby. Mm -hmm. So he is pirating. Yo, yo, yo. We're supposed to say that last part, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that, man. First of all, Seton Hall is in Connecticut, and I'm pirating. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Um, the last thing I'm going to say about that, though, is that I feel like 50 making so much money with that that he should have his own streaming service and do his own thing. But, hey, whatever is whatever. Um, however you get your money, get the bag, bro. But uh, closing statement time. This was a great episode. Go ahead and start off with you saying what you got for the people. Well, another great one. Y'all can hear me? Hold yes, on real sir. quickly. All right. Yep. Another great one. You know what I mean? Great way to start off the week. You know what I mean? Mondays. It's, it's, it's actually the toughest day of the week when yes, you're starting sir. in the morning. But it's a great way to cap it off for my brothers. I appreciate everybody coming out, checking us out, chopping it up. Um, chat always live, always updated. Appreciate it. Shout out to the Shakedown family, man. Montana Mondays, man. Join us tomorrow with um LRP on Talk Back to Me Tuesdays. Get uh, they get a little heated here in the chat. So join. <laughs> Don't, don't forget don't just hit the like button tell people to sit there and check it out might might say some things that you could find very relatable we talk about sports but it also um obtains to um to different aspects of your life you know what i mean it just says maturing young men you know what i mean well i appreciate the growth <laughs> I seen I seen these boys grow. I'm not even gonna say boys because that's disrespect. I seen these these gentlemen grow. Hold the whole ten years, man. I've been here the whole ten years. I mean, I've been here live on the air, man. But I seen the growth, man. Where well, there was a time where people would refer to the brothers as hoodlums on the stoop and things like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and 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 dudes mm -hmm. actually stepped it up, man. And, and came through in a more profound manner to really that was word on the street listen, I, I remember that I remember wow. listen man i remember it too 
brothers educated themselves, man, go out there and do their own research to see what's going on, to give it to the people, not even for a fee, do it for free because it's the things that we love. We brothers, we just talk about sports and things like that anyway. Don't get it wrong. We still put the extra umph in there to get the information out and make sure the waves on the plus side, never the minus. We only here to add on and move along. You know what I mean? I appreciate everybody for supporting the show. When I'm going to give it back to Shakes, man. I appreciate everybody, man. Your boy saying difference. All right. Same difference. All right. He yeah, chose one from the Bronx. Shouts to the rookie. We gotta have to come back to E. Appreciation. Yeah, we'll come back to E. All right. Oh, it's 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 on it's on your boy. Yes, sir. Great show. Shout outs to the crew making it happen. Shout outs to everybody who tuned in tonight. If you like what you heard, tell a friend to tell a friend. The Shakedown Media Network is back. And we running things. We running things. We running things. So y'all know what it is. But outside of that, this offense is doodle, son. Like we ain't want to talk about it. This offense is doodle, son. This is the first time I've seen this many question marks on offense. And we didn't know what was going to happen or what's going on. I don't know nothing about no rebuild. I don't know nothing about no retool. I don't know nothing about no reload. We done regressed. And that's that. And I don't know who or what is going to be out there September 11th. But I hope it ain't just that. Because we dead. Survey says we dead. But I must leave it for another time. Great show. Love you, fellas. Y'all know what time it is, man. You the chosen one from the Bronx. I like you, boy. He the chosen one from the Bronx. All right, Black Freeze, what you got for the pick? Yeah. <clears throat> Peace of the gods. Peace of the herbs. You know what it is, baby. Um, Shout out to the family, man. You know we have family in the building. You know what it is, man. Montana Mondays, please like and subscribe. Join the tribe. You know what it is. Please, man, the notification bell. Hit that. Bling. So you can get everything. All things. Shakedown. Media Network. We appreciate you, man. We're going to liven up the community. You know what I'm saying? Um, Bring our community section. We're going to liven that up a little bit. And start bringing some shorts and some more activity to the channel, man. And we just appreciate everybody for coming out and, you know, spending their time with us. Because you could be anywhere in the world. You right here with the kids, you know what I'm saying? With the God's partner, but yeah, man. Shout out to the family, man. Shout out to Deaton in the building, shout out to Ghost, man. All family, shout out to Will Wilkins. We see you, baby. Uh, shout out to the new first lady, Sarah. You know what I mean? Shout out to G24 Marshall. You know, your family, you know, your family. Shout out to Mac, the football fan. We appreciate you for showing up today. We appreciate you, young fellow. We really do. Shout out to Aaron. You know, your family, you know what I mean? Pre you know, I appreciate the participation. Shout out to Timothy. You know, your family. Tim, Tim out here trying to tell us, you know, what's really happening. He, he already got the thing mapped out. I see you, Timothy. Shout out to Don J, back to back. See, I see you, baby. You know what I mean? Shout out to Core Customs, man. Been a while, brother, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you out there doing your thing. You know what I mean? Core in the building. You know what I mean? Shout out to Michael Dub. You know what I'm saying? We see you. We see you. We see you, family. All right. Shout out to uh, Don Sherrod. Yeah, I love, I love, <laughs> I love that picture, though. That picture is. <laughs> priceless right there yeah <laughs> the abby is priceless shout out to the family all right yo man we appreciate y'all for coming out man and then joining us um y'all tune in tomorrow please for talk back to me tuesdays with lrp the mighty lrp um you know what i'm saying we back with you know what i'm saying with with more and more hits man uh we appreciate everybody man this is one of the most dangerous shows on this youtube you know what i'm saying we we, we coined that because we believe that and the reason why we believe that is because we come up to show up for the people Monday through Friday. That's not easy, y'all. It's not easy. Some people don't go to work Monday through Friday for real. But um, we appreciate y'all, man, for coming out, man. And um, y'all enjoy the rest of your night, man. Hydrate and make sure you communicate with your family. You heard? Peace. Black Friday and I'm out. Mm -hmm. Shouts to LRP. 
I went to Houston. Get into the bag. All right, it's the rock. Yeah, man. Um, just another one. So, man, uh, come back and join us tomorrow for talk back to me Tuesdays, which I'm thinking we're gonna change it to topic Tuesdays because um, that's just too long to say. Um, <laughs> but we do it for y'all. We do it for the fans. So y'all get to participate. Y'all get we put the link out there. Y'all can come in. Y'all can talk for as long as you want. Um, on whatever topic, man, it, it, it's, it's y'all day. Um, topic Tuesdays, but like, like, uh, Black Friday said, man, appreciate all the, the new faces we've seen here today. Um, Flatbush 90, Mac the Giants fan, Don Sherrod, and um, Oldie But Goody, uh, Core Customs, man, you've been rocking this one since we've been on um, Log Talk Radio. But uh, <clears throat> that's all I got for now, man. Next month, we're going to start playing these old clips from uh, Blog Talk Radio days, man. So y'all can see, if y'all haven't been with us, y'all can see how we used to sound, what we used to talk about, the arguments, the 50-something people on the phone line. <laughs> y'all get to hear all that. That's all I got for now, man. It's the rock. All right. Well, appreciate everybody joining us this evening. It's been awesome. Again, I want to say thank y'all for all the viewership last week. It's amazing. I hope this week uh, builds more off of that. Um, shouts to the crew. Uh, y'all put on a great uh, show every day last week it was just fire even the one that i wasn't on was it was on same my bad same and you already know what happened but uh <laughs> yeah i mean but uh shouts to the crew man because every episode was fire man so um we're gonna keep on doing that man we're gonna keep on bringing y'all this uh this heat and uh y'all just do your job man tell a friend tell a friend and before y'all walk up into the door just make sure that y'all wipe your feet, man. Leave a like, comment, and if you ain't already, go ahead and subscribe, man. But uh, like we always say around this time, don't expect y'all to agree with us, but damn sure expect y'all to understand. Understand? So don't get shook up, because we keep shit live. It's the shakedown, and they repping them New York Giants <laughs> on their drive for five. We out of here. Take us away, J Rock. Uh, go ahead, Sam. Man. You got it. Yo, y'all just been shook by the shakedown, and we out of here. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Coming this week. <laughs>